And welcome back to the uh, third episode of the Minecraft Soft Boiled Survival Series. Um, in the last episode, we got this little, little boy right here. This little one. This little one right here. Yep, a little axolotl. It was underneath the pillager tower. That's, it. you see it right there. It's underneath the pillager tower. That's what the pillagers were protecting keeping hidden so we saved the axolotl and got a few crossbows for it. but in the process we also now have the bad omen effect meaning that if we find well i already found another village uh, in the last episode while returning home but if i try to go near that village uh it will be destroyed <laughs> which is not what we want at all um but right now I just want to organize the chests quick because I think today is going to be an episode of uh, construction or something along those lines because I'm kind of getting tired of not having many materials and just living in this small little hut of which that I made myself. So we are going to take uh, all of our stuff and we're just gonna put it... Oh, yeah, uh... Uh, I'll explain that banner in a second. I mean, that, um... Thingy in a second there. In a second here, but... What I wanna do is I kinda just wanna... Make, like, a base. Maybe, like, a bigger part of the base. Because I'm starting to get a little tired of just living in this small, tiny, cramped hut. Because I got no room to build or anything at all. So, what we're going to do is next to it, we're going to build a little shed. We're going to build a little shed. And this shed is just going to be strictly for um, just general uh, purpose. Like, just the purpose of um, storage and uh, just... Just the general purpose of storage and the general purpose of mining. Because I want to make a little mine in here. In this little shed. Because I need a mine. I need more materials. We need food as well. Because I can't just keep relying on going out and killing things eventually. I need to make a farm. So I think either this episode or next episode I'm going to attack that problem of uh, farming. It might be another one of the another uh, part of this episode, but I'm not sure. I'm just playing it all by ear. I guess this really doesn't need to have a window because it's gonna be a shed, so uh, we can just block this all up. I can just block it all up, and now we can go over here, make this a little. Uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be a. It's gonna be a pretty pretty darn big shed I want this to be uh, a big a pretty pretty big shed big enough to hold like loads of chests and stuff and an entrance to a mine because I have big plans for this shed right now big 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 plans as you can see uh, the armor situation has been the same and it's probably because I'm spending my iron on, um, well, stuff like you saw there. I made a iron shovel when I could have made a much uh, more expendable uh, stone shovel and saved some iron. But, you know, we don't have to be completely efficient here. We can, we can waste a few materials here and there. Um... Yeah, we can waste materials here and there. It doesn't always have to be uh, working at 100% efficiency. I mean, that would be desired, but it doesn't have to be. But eventually, I think it will just turn into that. I am going to also need more wood after this. So I'm going to have to grab more wood as well. We have to need more cobble. I need more cobblestone. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, this episode might actually turn into a mining episode. 
If I can't, well, actually, I can make the floor out of something. I can make the floor out of something different. I don't need to make it out of strictly cobblestone. I can make it out of something else. Uh, but I want to put a window in the back here because I don't have the window a window in um, many parts of this. So I kind of just want to put a window in the back. We'll take all this. Take the glass panes. I don't think eight's going to be enough, but we have loads of uh, other glass panes well we have just general glass so if that's not enough we can just I can just uh, grab all that do you just as a question for you the viewer is it better um, when I does it does it feel more comfortable if I'm to say we speaking um, well referencing you as a viewer? Uh, doing this with me, which you well, obviously aren't, but like you are watching me do it, uh, or would you rather me say, well, me, instead of saying, oh, well, we are going to do this, or we are going to go gather more materials, or we are going to go out and, on a mining adventure, because, like, I, I guess, I guess I am kind of taking you with me uh, on this uh, wonderful es on the wonderful escapades I go on uh, throughout the Minecraft world, but I question whether or not it's comfortable because I know that some would rather not be, um, you know, just someone not be addressed when they are not doing something like that. Because, like, you're not, uh, you, the viewer, are not doing this with me, obviously. Like, you're not physically with me. But, you are watching it. You are watching it happen, and possibly talking. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you do when you watch uh, my videos. Um, but uh, I hope that uh, I could. Uh, I can please you the best I can, because I want the viewing of these videos to be nice and chill for the most part. <laughs> I don't want it to be super, like, super high energy because, well, like, I guess, I guess I could go for, like, a super high energy kind of thing if that was desired because, like, I know some YouTubers are just so loud. A good example of this is Tommy in it. I mean, like, well, not really. He's pretty chill, like, I guess. But I personally just think he's so... He's very high energy, and that's a great thing. That's a great trait to have, is being energetic. Ener energetic, my bad. But, um... I personally just find it better to watch videos that are... Like, watch up YouTubers who don't have just this constant yell, or this constant yelling feel. Like, they might not be constantly yelling, but when talking, I, I, I would expect them to yell. It's kind of like the, um, the general, gosh darn it, uh, I keep misplacing this, this slab. You know what, I might do it from down here, actually, that's a better idea. So I won't misplace them as much. But it's the general kind of YouTube stereotype, YouTuber stereotype of just being loud and, you know, being obnoxiously loud to the point where they're just, the viewers just, it's just uncomfortable for the viewer and them themselves while they're making it but i just i just want to make sure that it's you know to your liking you know i mean i know i can't please everyone that's not possible because there's so many people out there and everybody might want a different thing to happen in a different way than i than um, some others would so it is impossible to please everyone but we, I can try my best to please as many people as I possibly can. Because I, I, what I what I want from this what I want from this from this channel and these videos is for the viewer to go out of it thinking um, that just just having a good time, you know. And I know those torches are in the same spot, which is incredibly annoying, but I don't really think I have a better way to put them. Oh, well, I, I guess that light would actually cover both of them, so that's fine. But 
I, I, I would love, I just love, um, hearing, uh, somebody say, oh, wow, that was such a, like, people saying, oh, well, it's a great time, whatever they just did then, or something like that. So, the whole point of these videos is just, you know, have a chill time, an enjoyable time, for you, the viewer. But, uh, enough of that. The shed is complete. Got to put a little bit of lighting in here. Bam, bam. All right. So now the shed is complete. But what we need to look at now is uh, storage. Storage. That's what's next. Storage. Oh, hello. Oh, I probably dropped it from up top there. What's next? What comes next? Next comes storage. What comes next is the storage. Storage. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just being incredibly weird. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. But, um, let's just get all the... Why did I craft more chests? I'm not understanding why I crafted more chests. Anyways, uh, let's just put... You know what? Actually, you know what might be a good idea? I don't have many... much. I don't have much coal left. But... Uh, I could actually use that to my advantage. I don't know what I'm saying, so bear with me. Um, let's just make loads of signs here, because I want to be able to label these. So this is going to be a wood chest, and this is going to be a blocks chest so just general blocks um this is probably going to be a let's just get all this da, 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 da. got it this is going to be a food food not four uh food and oh hold on i'm doing it in the wrong spot food and farming chest so food just general food and farming materials will go in this chest all right let's start moving some of this stuff over here now you know what i could do well if i'm gonna do it i should actually probably do it with um this stuff right here i'm just gonna grab one of these and then what i'm gonna do is this watch i picked this up I don't remember where, but I remember it. So you put that down like that. Well, no, you don't actually do that. I'm wrong. I'm doing that wrong. So, like, if you wanted to do it like a shelf, it's super simple. And it really is actually, you know, saves a little bit of material and a little bit of space. And then there you go. You got a chest on a shelf. And it looks nice. Actually, it actually looks really nice. All right, bam. And then this is going to be mob drops. So, any drops from a mob or something like a zombie, I'll probably put it in there. Excuse me, I burped a little bit, I think. Um, but something that I would like to have is a nice path. Walking, coming over to uh, this area right here. There we go. And then, actually, what I can have... Oh, I'm going to fill in some of the stairs so I can make the path. Uh, proper. It's not the best path. I don't make the best things, but it does, in fact, look nice, in my personal opinion. You know what? We are just gonna block up this cave. Now you cannot escape. Haha, uh -huh, you are trapped there forever. Um, but I think in this episode, we might do a- I might- I might do a little bit of mining. I'm gonna try to say I as much as possible. I apologize if it's not- if it's like super weird, just hear me say we, because uh, I, I attempt to reference the viewer as if they were sitting next to me. That's why I'm, you know, trying to make it a chill experience where I'm not rubbing things, or I'm not shoving things into, you know, your face and forcing you to, subjugating you to extremely loud contact, you know, being super loud and obnoxious because when i when i am um, to watch a youtube video i try to find more calmer videos to watch um 
rather than trying to listen to videos where I feel like I'm in the middle of a stadium, like a football stadium, hearing the roar of the crowd. And that's just my personal preference. It's always been that way. At least I think. That's what I found to be more attractive, is calm. Like a calmness, a, a chillness, a cool and collected thought process. And I know that the majority of the time, I probably don't have that. Uh, as seen probably in some of my videos lately, uh, where I'm like freaking out or something, I'm like, ah! But, um, that is in fact, that is what I enjoy more, is more chill content such as this, which is why I don't, you know, I'm not too, like, I don't, I don't think I sound super excited, but I also don't think I sound super bored either. I have a lot of fun doing this, and that's kind of what it boils down to, is, like, are you having fun? But I have a lot of fun doing this, and I hope that you as a viewer have a lot of fun watching this. Uh, I hope you as a viewer have a lot of fun watching it. I mean, I don't know if you do. Maybe you could tell me in the comment section below. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Sorry. But that's, that's another thing. Uh, I'm not the kind of person who's going to... Prob I'm not the kind of uh, person who's probably going to be like begging for likes or subscribers. Um on like every video, but maybe occasionally I'll put in like, hey, if you like the video, why not consider subscribing? Helps out the channel a lot, you know, that kind of thing. The typical YouTuber, you know, stuff, the typical YouTuber stuff, where, you know, you ask the viewer, hey, do you enjoy the video, blah, 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 if you liked it, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, whatever. Um, I don't know if people really say uh, they uh, use the hit they say hit the bell uh, very much. Notice that it's kind of just hit that subscribe button. But I'm just here for the funsies. And to try and do the best I can so that you, the viewer, have a good time. Because that is, that's, ki that's what I love seeing. I love seeing others when they're happy. You know, or at least hearing that they're happy, or them saying like, oh wow, that was so fun, or something like that, like I said before. But, night is now falling, and I am not going to be happy uh, when the monsters come to take my butt. I want to keep my butt. I don't want my butt stolen. Wait, I hear this, I hear this thing right here. Nice. Oh, get back in the water. Okay, thank goodness. I've noticed that squids have died a lot. Squids die so often. They just kind of like run onto the side of the island, like in, onto the side of a river, and just, <laughs> they just drop. They just, yeah, yeah, they just die. And then they just start suffocating. It's, it's terrible. It's so sad. But at the same time, it's absolutely hilarious. <sighs> what a really distinct thing just continue to die. It's like some. It's like it's like Mojang just does not like them. Mo Mojang is squidist, I guess. Um, I'm only joking. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, just throw more of this in here. When I I put I put the fit I put the um what's it what are they called uh flowers into the food and farming section. Because it's much easier. Um, it's much easier to put them in there. Because they are, like, I think, I, I think that they are a part of farming in some way. Because, like, they can be used to, obviously, in a composter, they can be used to make, to make, uh, what do you call it, a bone meal. It can be used to make bone meal. But that, but that's, like, for a lot of stuff. You can do that with a lot of stuff. But it's, like, it's, like, the ink part. Not ink, what am I talking about? It's, uh, it's not ink. Um, it's the part, it's the part of just, like, general, like, what it is. Like, what the, what the kind of stuff is. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, 
I'm losing my mind here. I'm moving way too fast for my words, for my mouth to understand what I'm saying. But it just feels right putting it in there. That's 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 what it is. It just feels right when I when I put them in another chest. I'm like, eh, where do where do where do they lie? You know, where do you put them? And that's something I've questioned. Like, where would I, in reality, put a um, put flowers? Would I put them in the food and farming section? Would I put them in like a miscellaneous section? So I just put them with the farming materials because it makes the most sense to me personally. This right here is going to be materials. No, the I don't know what I'm doing. Minerals, minerals chest. There we go. I took a screenshot on an accident. Not going to save that. <laughs> but um, that's going to be the mineral section. And I put flint in the mineral section because it kind of it, it it's it's different compared to the rest of um rest of the stuff that uh can be gathered that's like like a mineral is like it's kind of it's like it's like this look, so like look so i drop that right there and i drop this right there i see these not of equal value but of equal um equal type so like yeah, you see, it's like Minecraft Flint, Minecraft Emerald. Like, I, I, to me, if I don't see it there, I'm like, oh, well, where's the Flint? It also just makes it a lot easier to find it whenever I'm looking for the Flint. Because where else would I put the Flint? Would I put it in the block section? No, I would not put it in the block section. Because it's not a block. It is not a block. Uh, those are not blocks. Flint is not a block. It is actually... In my personal opinion, a mineral. Not in reality, of course. In reality, is nowhere near a mineral. Um, but in Minecraft, I would put it in a in the mineral section. I don't think it's a mineral. I should be more specific. I don't think it's a mineral, but I think that it should go in the same place, because same place as the mineral, uh, the mineral block section, because it, it like it feels better. I don't even know. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I, it feels better. Like, I, I don't know, but it, it it just makes sense to me. So like, I'll look for a f I'll be looking for flint. But like, what, what chest would you put? This is gonna get a little annoying at some point. I'm just gonna put this there. Oh, hold on. Okay. What if I did it like this? There we go. Usually I come out that way. Oh, what the heck? Oh, hello, wandering trader. Oh, slime balls. Oh, and the moss block. Wait a second. Ooh, I've been messing around with the moss block lately. And I, ooh, 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 ooh. you, my friend, give me some of that. Yes. Okay, so the moss block. Uh, what else does he got? He's got orange stuff. He's got that. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, for coming, for coming out here. Um. Where did I put it? Do I have bones in here? See, see, this is what I mean. Like, I'm looking for bones. I'm like, oh, well, there's a mob mob drop chest. Don't know why I'm crouching right now. Um, a mob's mob drop chest. And I'm like, oh, well, I'll just look in the mob drop chest for mob drops. So, okay. This is considered to be one of the best ways now. A day. I don't know why. Uh, but for some reason, moss blocks have now become a fantastic source of... Or a fantastic way to get down to um, a super low Y level. And it's because um, it deletes like every block around it. It doesn't delete bedrock, I don't think. Um, but it deletes like every other block around it. Which is why it's considered to be uh, one of the best forms of mining. There we go. Wow, just... Um, food and farming. I also throw all the uncooked stuff in there, so then I'll pull it all out and then put it away. Um, 18 TNT. That is awesome. Okay. Wood chest. Bam. Put the chest in the chest. So, check this out. I'm gonna be messing with this kind of stuff at some point. I don't know when, but eventually I will. Because I really like this stuff. Oh. Speaking of the new stuff, I've been, I watched a video... Uh, I might have it linked uh, in the description. Just, just, it's, this, this guy goes uh, and explains 
you know, just kind of like looks at some of the, um, it, he just kind of looks at some of the, um, the, uh, new generation, uh, you know, 1.18, and just, like, gives his personal opinion on it, so I'll probably look at, I'll probably put that in the, uh, description, uh, below, but it just looks so awesome, let me tell you, it, it just looks awesome, but, uh, as I was saying, I want to mess with this stuff at some point, because, watch this, so you grab O'Meal, bam, that was incredibly anticlimactic, um, but look, it made more moss blocks, and it made one of these, don't know if I can pick it up, I can, moss carpet, I don't know if I can pick up this with my hand, I can pick it up with my hand, alright, watch, bam, there we go, there it is, these are azalea trees, there are two variants of the azalea tree, there is the regular uh, azalea bush, and then there is the flowering azalea. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, really awesome. But, uh, let me just clean all this up. Um, but, what's super interesting is that, um, like, do you see how it absorbed, like, it kind of just replaced all the dirt that was around here? Did you notice that? You probably did, right? Yeah, you probably did. Um, but it replaced all of the dirt with moss, and the moss is pretty darn easy to break. So, putting uh, two and two together here, it becomes extremely easy to mine down to bedrock, and then do whatever the heck kind of like mining you were gonna do at bedrock, um, down all the way there, because you can get there super easy. You just need bone meal and the moss block. Of course, if you find any minerals on the way, they get, I'm pretty sure they get deleted as well. I should probably do some testing on that before I, uh, try mining down to, like, a Y11 or something, uh, with this stuff, and then, you know, completely delete some diamonds or whatever. But I love the moss blocks, because they, they just, they just, they just look cool. I like them. They look very warm. Like, that stuff I'll put on the blocks, just. But, I will actually take these azalea trees, and I will plant one here. And I will plant the other one here. Wait a second, hold on, I might have a better idea. What if I take this one, right? Plant this one here. Take this one. Hold on a minute. What if I place... I I don't even know what I'm doing this episode. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one away. Bam. Alright. Now. That is not correct. Okay, that's fine. Bam. Okay, now it's correct. So... Eventually, I'll probably be making a pathway here. You know what? I might move. I might work. On, yes, enjoy my English. Uh, I might actually make one right now because I want to have. Uh, you know what? Actually, hold on. My brain. My brain is beginning beginning to activate. Hold on. Um, Chuck's brain. The brain of the Chuck. The chicken's brain is beginning to activate. Somehow, something is activating here. Uh, Everybody run. His brain is beginning to, um, it's beginning to work. Everybody run, because I'm going to explode. My brain, uh, once it starts activating, since I have a chicken-sized brain, uh, once I do something, uh, my brain explodes, because that's how brains work. But, uh, let's, let's just see this here. Let's just see this here. Sorry, I had to grab that. Alright, so, I might, right there, right here, right here, see all this? I might put a farm there. My brain, my brain, my brain. Guys, my brain, it's exploding. My brain, it's exploding. If you can see my mouse, it's exploding right now. My brain, it's blowing up. So, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick that up. We're gonna throw the rest of that in there, right? But, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna grab this and watch. Bam. Oh, bam. See that? Bam. Oh, bam. Look at that. Wow, look at that. 
That looks cool. To me, this looks cool. Because it reminds me of one of those hedge things. Like, you know those hedge things? Where, like, uh, let me just trim it a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just trim it. Just slightly. I'm trimming the tree. But, like, you know how there's, like, those things, and they'll have, like, they'll be, like, archways, but there'll be, uh, oh, wait, you can get azalea tree. What? You can get a I didn't know that. Well, that's something I know now. But like, do you see this? Like, look at this. Like, I might add uh, another one to this so it doesn't look like you know this guy's spineless. Um, but hopefully, I have enough. Dang it! It didn't work. Um, I'm pretty sure that they will not turn into that. Like, they won't grow big. You know what? You know what actually might be better? If I put, like, actual trees down instead. And then put some flowers around. That might actually be better. Because, like, it's not just, you know, I'm not just putting down azalea trees and it's not just, like, the same thing over and over again. So I'll take the azalea tree back. And then, what I will do is I'll cut this down a little bit. Just a little bit. Slightly. Alright. And then what we'll do is we'll put, I'll put this tree right here. So that it'll grow and cover this thing up a little bit. Alright? And then on the other side, I'll also put another tree down. After I break some of this down here. Remove the grass. I'm, I'm, I just, I use, I use the sapling to destroy the grass. I use the vegetation to destroy the vegetation. Alright, so we'll put this guy one, two, three, four... Five. That should be six, maybe? Yeah, that should definitely be enough space. For the thumbnail, I'm probably going to do something like this. I don't know. But, uh, I need more wood. So, I'm going to place this stuff down here. Like this. And we're just going <gasps> to... Gasp! A bee has ventured over to our land. Wonderful. I will... I, will. Oh, I don't want to punch the bee. You punch a bee, the bee starts to sting you. Speaking of bees, I like bees. Bees are cute. In Minecraft and in real life. Especially bumblebees. Big, plump little babies. I love bees. But you know what I don't like? I don't think anybody likes these. No, I don't think anybody like, likes wasps. Wasps are terrifying creatures. I know, they're all God's creation. And were designed in the most caring way possible. But why did he have to make them so, so, so mean? They probably weren't that way, uh, during the creation. Like, during, during the original times of creation, probably in Eden, gar in the garden. They probably weren't super aggressive. But then when, you know, the apple happened, um, that whole thing that started the entirety of the world, uh, and its decline, um, I think that's when they became aggressive. Sorry, I just got a little... Not for I'm just trying to think of this. But, I, I'm trying to think of, like, they probably weren't. Because, like, you, you know how, you know, how they're all, how uh, wasps are just so, just so darn mean all the time. They just want to bite you. I mean, they want to kill you. They want to kill you and they want to bite you. They want you dead. Probably. I think. I don't know. Bee stereotypes. <laughs> yeah, bee stereotypes. Alright, I'm just gonna put these around here. Because I like flowers. I'm just gonna line them up on the side here. And then we will put, I will put a blue one here. You go there. Bam. 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 And do I have an, one more on the side here? No. Perfect. Alright. So. At, look at all this. All this sugar cane. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Oh, a tree already grew. Nice. So, in the next episode, uh, it's just going to be all farm work. Next episode is just going to be all farm work. Um, because this all looks really nice. Uh, these trees here. Uh, I might chop these down uh, when they sprout. Because I need more wood. But I could clear all this out and make it all flat, or at least try to make it flat. 
um, and put trees there instead, or over there on that side of, uh, over there. But I do know right around this area, like over here, like right here, see all this? Like all this grass here, I, I want to try putting a farm in here. And like running sugarcane all the way around here. Me and my me me and my chicken brain, I I, I, I see I see things. I, I see them. I see them. I see them. I see What the heck was that? Oh, it was a squid. <laughs> I heard the Quah! I'm like, oh geez, what Yeah, that that noise right there. And I'm like, what is that noise? And it's just the squids. Um but uh yeah. Uh, that's all the time I have for today. Also, wonderful bees. Uh, that's all the time I have for today. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully you liked this episode, and if you did, consider subscribing. Um, but, uh, God bless you on your journeys, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye!